has actually got a break on this one, but uh, I don't think it's probably going to do much more than a market break. Yeah, it's not much more popular there. It <laughs> squeaks a lot when you're going down the road, but it doesn't really do much. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, so it's all the same in other ways, and I'm doing it many ways. Uh, the reverse of evil and all that sort of stuff. Very similar. Start work, 
I'm going to let them say these things, I don't know whether I am now, but by the time they've left school at 18 and done that year's gap, oh my goodness, and then go on another year and then something else, yeah. They're 23 before they start work, and they don't want to. Who said that? Where are we now? Who should we talk to? Oh look. Help's got trouble, let's see what the problem trouble is. Pink pork with that. What you got trouble for that? My granny tires falling off. I'm being serious. <laughs> Just a nut and bolt job. Well, we talked to Melanie about, about the models. I say we're going to have some fun. We, they were uh, a three inch bolt that we were talking about right from the start. Tell us a bit about it. Good yes, the three inch Marshall Agricultural uh, was built from a model from the Pride of the Road, which is what it's called, from 1910. But if you also look at the Marshall Agricultural that's just going round there, that's 1913, which is a full size version of this basically, slight differences. Um, but yeah, we bought it seven, six years ago, did boiler of work on it. Uh, the rest of it, as you can see, is here. It was built in 93, and we're the third owners. You have to keep these up the same as everybody else does. You have to do your uh, uh, boiler test and all that sort of thing. Yes, that's correct. We still have to do the same boiler maintenance, the same as all the full size ones, because they are literally the same procedure all the way through. We have to have the cold examination and then the hot examination, and then as we do it through a boiler in an inner boiler inspector, we have a 10 year hydraulic on it, which is one and a half times boiler pressure, which this is set at 120, so we go up to 180. Where if you've got some of the full size compounds, they're 180, which means they have to go up to about 280 pressure um, on a cold hydraulic. So, this test is all about uh, filling it right up with water completely and throwing the cup on the end of it. So, if it, it did actually split or something like that, uh, it, it wouldn't do any real damage. Uh, whereas now, when it's probably about two thirds for all the boilers, steam, useful steam, and that's why it has to be tested. So, uh, not that I've heard of any boiler problems within this country in many years. Now, there's not been any boiler explosions since, I think, the late 1800s in the UK. Um, unfortunately, there was one in America in the year 2000, which was not very good, but they've now up their regime, which is good. So, it gives you some idea, and again, so you don't just have an edge, and that's it. There's a lot involved in keeping it going. Tell us about it. Uh, this is a four inch cost uh, road loco uh, with a compound block on it, so we've got three speeds uh, and many tanks as well for extra water capacity. Oh, really? So, yeah, these are the belly tanks on each side, I presume, yeah. Uh, so, in, again, if we, we think about the full size one, this gives us more miles to the filler, uh, which is quite handy. I'm not going to have to take it out the nearest stream or whatever. Um, you, you, you should be able to get a full day, perhaps, with all the water in there and a clean water, which is really handy. Anything particularly difficult or easy with this engine then? Um, not massively. Uh, unfortunately, last show we had, we had a, a fire tube which runs from the firebox up to the smoke box, which I believe you showed earlier. Well, and then, uh, <laughs> So we've had to plug that this weekend so we can still keep going and this winter that will be a, a total strip down job to replace the whole lot. Alright, so even the one, you, you just managed to do one at the moment? We've just plugged it up for the weekend, so it's now part of the, the boiler basically, it's a bit of pressure and uh, yeah, I think we're, we're running one, one less than normal. Well that's the usual thing, that right? is the, generally the first thing that goes, isn't it, is the boiler tube. And that, the tubes that are inside this one here, they're quite a bit more than the others, and they are the first thing we sort of go. Nothing to worry about, except it tries to put a fire out as much as anything else. So, uh, what are we here? Who is this Patricia? Let's go ahead. Hi there. Um, yeah, this is uh, me. We bought in 2004. It's 23 years old. The third owners of 
Rope is jacked. You also saw that when it sort of got a lot of load on it, the front was coming off the ground and he was losing the steering. Uh, before Mr. Ferguson came along with his Ferguson system, that's what tractors used to do quite often. They would kick going along and uh, whatever they were put in would snag up in some way or another. The back wheels would keep going. And the front wheels would come right up off the ground and tip them over backwards. And uh, by putting them hanging the implements on the back and various other things, and stopped all that happening. And that's why this three point condition we still see on modern tractors is so good. That's one of the things that makes it so good. Uh, it saved a lot of nasty accidents. Thank you. 